hello everyone uh, welcome back to this channel uh, we are back with another long challenge and this season it's amazon who is hiring is the april long challenge please it's recommended do not share your code this time uh, learn yourself and try to apply it i have come up with a algorithm series a the the optimum tool that you'll be requiring in solving most of the questions in any competitive programming contests let's just dive deep into the strong language question let's understand and you are the one who are going to apply it and solve it strong language uh, is a question that arrived now the string is said to be using a strong language if it contains at least k consecutive star characters it's given star characters now the ascii value of star in decimal is 42 all right so let's keep it aside now they are said they said that you are given a string s we are given a string s with a length n right and we have to determine whether it is a strong language or not so if it is a strong language it will have at least k consecutive star characters in this given string so i might be given a string and i'll have to find that whether it is a strong language or not we'll see the input and we'll see the test cases just in a minute so let us first look at the input it says that first we are given an integer t which is the number of test cases and then the first line separated integers that is fine n and k is given and we have to print whether it is a strong language yes or no and this time it is uh, not case sensitive you can use any of this combination all will be treated as identical all right uh, the constraints of the equation is given the test case there are 10 test cases and k and n be belong to uh, belong within the range 1 and 10 to the power 6 now it is very important to note that it is order of you have to design an algorithm here that is order of n it can't go to order of n square because that would give you a tle in this question so you'll have to restrict yourself in order of n or probably order of n log n let's see what we can do at our level best now the substar uh, there is two substasks uh, in this given problem now let us understand what the question actually says so here we are given a string say this string star a star star b now this string is given now length of this string is 5 and 2 k is given as 2 here we'll have to find here that whether are there two identical consecutive star characters present in this given string if yes we are going to return a yes in the console and we clearly see that uh yes it is possible yes it is there and we hence we print a yes in the console now for another example this uh, where it is star a star b star and again uh, the five uh, n is given as five and k is given as two we can see that this time we don't find two consecutive star and hence the answer is a no all right now how you can approach to such a problem i've said that go check out my algorithm series it's there uh, all right let's look at the solution approach a little bit uh, approach to this problem you can use a sliding window concept right a sliding window concept now what sliding window will help you in this is let us look at the example star a star star b and the n given here is 5 for us and k given here is 2 for us now what happens in sliding in window is we take a window of size k so suppose my first pointer is at the initial zeroth element and i take a window of size 2 so 1 and 2 so this is the size of my window sorry this is my this this is the size of my window this is my window now in this particular window i'll try and check that whether there are two stars or not hence k is equals to 2 whether all the elements in this window is star or not if if yes then we'd quit the program and we'd print yes in the console if no we proceed by sliding our window so we slide our window now our new window becomes this the green one where the new two pointers would be pointing here and here if 
we find that all the characters in the window are star we print a yes and exit from our current uh, pro uh, program if not we proceed and we slide our window once again now the new slide is our white window now we ask the question is both the elements in this white window are they stars if yes then we print a yes in the console and here we clearly see that yes both the uh, both the characters are star hence we print a yes in my console and there we end our code and we just finish it so this problem uses a sliding window concept this is a very easy problem and uh, if you if it helped you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to uh, learn something each day from the 10 day long algorithm bootcamp that will be running parallelly with this uh, thank you